Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video tutorial. My name is Chris, and I'm from Tech Coaches. In these instructions, I want to help you install the Zoom app on an Android tablet. It's a great tool for doing video calls, and it's free to use, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is open up the Play Store, which is where we would always go to get new apps on our Android tablets. From there, I'm looking for the search box that's at the top of the screen. It says search for apps and games. All I do is tap on that and the keyboard automatically pops up. Now I'm able to search for the app I want, which in this case is Zoom. So I'll type that in and then on the keyboard, I'm gonna go ahead and push this magnifying glass on the right hand side. That activates the search and it brings up the search results. I can see here that the name of the app I'm actually looking for is Zoom Cloud Meetings. If I go down a little bit further on the page, I just wanted to point out that Zoom Rooms and Zoom for Intune, for example, are not what I'm looking for. You'll notice on the right side of the screen, there's a green install button. So when I'm ready to install the Zoom app, I go ahead and give that a push. Now that we have the Zoom app successfully installed on our Android tablet, we're able to accept an invitation to participate in a video call. It's typical that people would receive an invitation via email, so let's go ahead and check our inbox. For this example, I'm gonna be using the Gmail app, but you could be using anything from a Yahoo account to something provided to you by your internet service provider. What you're looking for is an inbox item from the individual that's trying to invite you to a video call. You'll notice as well that sometimes this email might be filtered into your junk or spam folder, so if you didn't receive the message as planned, do be sure that you investigate there just in case it was misfiltered. You can see here in the content of my message from Melinda that there's some blue text that I'm able to tap and that's going to launch the Zoom app automatically. So let's go ahead and do that now. You'll notice that I have to answer this question here at the bottom, which says open with. So I'm going to go ahead and select Zoom. From here, I just have to be patient and I have to wait through this process as it gets started. The first thing it wants me to do is enter a name that I would like displayed on the screen whenever I'm in a Zoom call. So for this example, I'll just leave it as Tech Coaches, and I'm gonna go ahead and push this OK button. Then this app changed the screen all by itself, so I don't have to think that anything was involved there. That was all happening automatically. Now you'll notice my colleague is on screen, however, she doesn't see my video and she doesn't hear my audio because I've not given permission for the Zoom app to use my microphone or the video camera yet. So let's go ahead and get that set up. First thing I have to do is tap on the screen. You'll notice that all of the controls are only visible when I tap on the screen and then they automatically disappear. So what I have to do is after every couple seconds, if I need those controls back, I just have to tap on the screen one time and they'll appear. So let's look in the bottom left corner. We need to join audio. So I'm going to push join audio, and then I'm going to select the option call via device audio simply by tapping on it. The next thing I have to set up is start video. So I'm going to go ahead and push that button, and that should connect me with Melinda. Hello. Awesome. That was easy to do. So let's go ahead and tap the screen one more time, and you'll notice that along the bottom there's a couple more options. We have the share button, which would allow somebody to share their screen if they wanted to do something like that. We also have the participants button. And if I go ahead and push that, what happens is a full list of all of the participants in the video call shows up. And I'm actually able in the bottom left corner here to push chats. And that would actually give me the opportunity to send private messages between me and different users within this particular Zoom call, which is a really great feature to have. I'm going to go ahead, though, push this close button here because we don't need this right now. And I'll push this close button here also. And now we're back with Melinda. And because we're done with our call, we're going to have to employ the leave button, which is in the top right corner. So I'm going to tap on the screen just so that you can see it there. But just know that at any time you're able to tap out of a meeting and take off yourself if you're finished. So let's go ahead and do that now. Thanks, Melinda. I'm going to go ahead and give that a tap. And then I'm going to go ahead and push this leave button right here. It's going to ask for me to double check that by pushing this leave meeting button in blue. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a tap now. 